Omen Sight is the new game from the guys that brought us stories Path of Destinies. Within Omen Sight, you play as the Harbinger. You're essentially trying to prevent the end of the world. The world is in a state of war with two warring factions. The story features you trying to piece together this mystery, which requires you to interact with different characters along your investigation. You're able to go back in time and go through similar situations differently to discover different clues. This is done through traveling with different companions or providing insight to those allies to solve the mystery. The story is interesting, and I like that through the investigation, you'll be seeing both sides of the conflict within this war. To protect themselves from Pagarian oppression, the scattered rodent and bear tribes formed an alliance, led by a rebel named Ratika. Tonight, the Pagarian Empire launches a brutal assault on the Rodentian capital, under orders of Emperor Rindrick. When the capital falls, his conquest of Euralia will be complete. And far from the front lines, one who could have brought peace, the godless priestess Vera, has been murdered. In her absence, there is no one left to protect Euralia and its people. The end times are near. Euralia needs a savior. Omen Sight does a decent job of trying to break up the repetition of repeating areas by allowing you to skip portions of them and pretty much go to your next decision point. Seals are earned as you continue throughout the game and these help you open up new areas which then help further the narrative and then find hidden collectibles. The bulk of the gameplay will be combat arena. Where stories played very much like the Batman Arkham games, but with a sword, Omen Sight kind of reminds me more of Bayonetta. You have a light and heavy attack that you can use to mix up to get different combos. Like Bayonetta, if you can dodge right before you get hit, you'll go into slow-mo, which gives you a nice leg up on your enemies. You'll have access to your companion's powers, and these can either be these really strong attacks or a type of buff ability for your character. You'll unlock new abilities and special moves as you progress throughout the game. I really enjoy I enjoyed using the ability to create this circle of slow-mo around me and some instant fun kills. While I am enjoying my time with the game, I do find the game to be less polished than their previous game. I hit a glitch within Act 2 where the game thought I initiated a buddy jump, but the jump didn't complete. So the game kept going, but I couldn't proceed. I had to redo the whole level over again. There was another instance where neither I nor my ally could damage an enemy, so we couldn't proceed. This part isn't related to the glitches, but I found both of the boss fights that I've fought so far kind of lackluster, with the second boss being more annoying because of how much health they had, and if you fall into the lava, you instantly die and then need to restart the whole fight over again. While the option to skip certain sections of repeated areas is appreciated, the game can still feel really repetitive with many of the same areas and fights repeating. The visuals are beautiful and match well with the music within the game. Frustrations aside, I do think that this game is worth checking out for its fun combat and interesting approach to narrative. I would highly recommend you check the game out on a sale though, hopefully by the time the game does go on sale the glitches are ironed out. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other ones. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out my Patreon page at the end of this video and the description down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.